some okay, um, some behaviors that, that you could do. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that you wanna, when I was your own you will still do that. This is the second thing or this is the second thing. So, so it's like the belief of a particular society. Yes. Alright. So, if I will cut down this exactly what you have just said. So, definitely, you may find that uh, if you go across the border, every society has various uh, customs and beliefs. And uh, all you need to know is to read and understand those kind of stuff. Likewise, even a country like Malawi, you find that Malawi is one. But if you go inside and try to understand those people who are living in this society, we have different uh, customs. So whenever you are trying to market or to sell your product in uh, those places, as you try to read what are the customs of those uh, target market, and understand how best you can uh, save it with your product or other things that you are having. The word is, uh, sometimes you may take something uh, in particular society, the way probably presented might not be positively accepted just because it's, uh, it is deemed to be against their values and rights. So we should be able to blame uh, the cultural aspect before we, we actually get ourselves set there. And we should be able to see with the values or with the customs of a particular society is our business fit or not. Uh, we say it's a rule. What is it? You have any head of this way? It's a rule something that is unacceptable. Something unacceptable. So this is it. Uh, the way you, you might be playing uh, your marketing messages or whatever, the communication step, at least be taking side with the people you are trying to reach with uh, your product or service. A good example, you may find that the way probably I'll take uh, Americans, the way they speak, we find that in uh, their language, a lot of the ways that they try to express to us and give them as something that's not good with us. Yeah. Or we look at them as why is somebody be speaking like that? But to them to us, it's normal. So we should be able to see uh, what the value uh, of the people. So our third area, of course I've already talked about it in uh, stage, we had values. So values is nothing but belief. What is right and what is wrong. Then the fourth one, you write business norms. Business norms. N-O-R-M-S, business norms. Business norms. Business norms. What is a norm? You have a deal of that way? <laughs> what do you say a norm? Uh, it's like the way she is here now, not her yet. That's a norm. Even in here, the way we are living, the way we are behaving, that's our norm. Right? So we talk about business norm, business, we should be able to see how such kind of business is actually being what? Being life. So you remember that every uh, business or every industry has got uh, a thing by what? No. Uh, some sort of category, the way the business has to be run. So you yourself, you should be able to say this business has to be to thrive in a society by following the norms. Because if you have to go there, you find that definitely you find the very same kind of business that you are trying to offer. And if you try not to follow the norm of that particular uh, industry, definitely you will not be able to find a space within the market itself. The last one is religious beliefs and celebrations. Religious beliefs and celebrations. Religious beliefs and celebrations. So if you have religious beliefs and celebrations, definitely religion itself is part of our culture. So we go to society, we do have various uh, religious beliefs. And uh, the religious place guides 
or impact around on how we people to behave. So this is the business that will be deemed to be against the nature of a particular society. This is, it may not be welcome. So we never trying to frame uh, to say the product or service as make sure that as you understand uh, the religious belief of those particular societies it be able uh, to match or to marry with their values. In that university, then, we talk of celebration there. You you are just trying to say to target probably uh, when exactly do the people uh, in a particular society do celebrate uh, in religious way. A good example, we talk of much of us Christians we celebrate in December. Yeah. Come uh, December, you find that a lot of businesses they do good. And how much I'm going to suffer means that you think you'll never get a place at Christmas. Yeah. Uh, you know, as that such as Islam, they have Eid and all those kind of stuff. Uh, you know, Hindus, they have like, they have also their own sensation. So, definitely, as a business, you should also be able to move with such kind of uh, religious current. Let me go to the other stuff. That's the other environment, and we look at information technology. Environment, information technology, environment, information technology, environment, ICT, or whatever. So, we talk of information technology environment. What we're looking at is we try to understand the technological environment. And when we look at the technological involvement, we look at uh, the influence that the coming in of technology or the involvement of technology uh, has had on the business uh, development or performance. So you find that there are other businesses that are highly influenced by technology, others are not. So that when you have a to frame or to design a business, you should be able to see how best you can use the technology or what impact or influence will the technology have on your business so that as you man or you match your business with the technology so that you should, be, you should also be able to benefit uh, from whatever goodness the environment, uh, the technological environment uh, can have on your business. So that's your right place. Technological influence on the global marketing environment. Technological influence, technological influence, technological influence on global marketing environment. Technological influence on global marketing environment. And there you have the following. So, right, uh, information technology, IT, information technology. IT, information technology, IT, influence, uh, sorry, has revolutionized. Information technology has revolutionized, has revolutionized the way organization has revolutionized the way organization conduct the way organizations conduct business, the way organizations conduct business, the way organizations conduct business by enabling, by enabling small and medium businesses, by enabling small and medium businesses, small and medium businesses to label, to label the playing field, to level the playing field with larger organizations, with larger organizations, with larger organizations, the larger organizations. Organization. Small businesses use an array, small businesses use an array, that's A-R-R-A-Y. Small businesses use an array.
array of technology, small businesses use an array of technology based on everything, based on everything from computer server stations, from computer server stations. From computer server stations to portable mobile devices. From computer server stations to portable to portable mobile devices. Portable mobile devices. To portable mobile devices to expand competitive advantage. To expand competitive advantage in the global, to expand competitive advantage in the global, competitive advantage in the global economic marketplace, in the global economic marketplace, and marketing involvement, and marketing involvement. By the way, do we have a work group? We should create one. Who's where me, right? Yeah. Yeah, we have the WhatsApp group. You know that? Yeah, please. But whenever I come here, you have the contact position. So we need to have one. So in this case, um, we talk of the use of the website. You know what a website is all about, right? Yeah. And what is it? Yes, uh, I can say it's a platform. Mm -hmm. Made for people to create changes, they are to do what? To create changes. Uh-huh. Of the company thing, of people that they want to do this. Yeah, exactly. So, we know a website. Last time when I asked, uh, do we know the website? So, your friends were like, yeah, it's the WW, what, what? Mm -hmm. What does the WW mean? Triple the view is there. Or even here, even here, this campus also has a part, the website. It's the view that view at work. So it's all, the view that view is a worldwide way. It's like, you know it's fire. Yeah, so it's like, you try to create a network just like that. So, when you talk the website, it's like a library. And when you talk about the library, it's where people can get information about what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, in the very same way, organizations do create websites where they can feed in the information about what they have, what they do. So, what will happen is uh, that website is exposed almost to everyone globally. So, we will be able to access information uh, with what they want. And this time around, with uh, what we call AI, the efficient cases, you find that um, the dissemination of information has been made so much easier. Say so that if you go on the internet, you search something, definitely a lot of uh, information will be popping up, uh, having similar uh, to what you were looking for. So, what we do know is that you may find that this time around, because of the changes in the technology, you find that almost bigger companies, small uh, companies, in terms of how they. This is glass. Yes, sir. This is what you do when you away from the field in that So what will happen is that you find that even in talk of the use of social media. So you find that everyone, uh, the fact that we have so many people uh, who probably spend much of their time uh, on social media, that means both bigger companies, small companies, they are competing using one, the very same platform. So we should be able to see how big uh, you can be much active or more when it comes to that kind uh, of way through which you may promote your business.
Nu, gândile, simți și un pic de cea. Poezia. Poezia. Ai zis ce le-a spus. Auzi? Auzi, am văzut ce le-a spus. Auzi, te-ai urat la voi să te-ai urat. Nu. Auzi, azi eu simt că o să-i urbim o cură. Nu-i bine. Să mă dau zotul de mie. So I was talking to my sister, Pete. We should have as uh, the WhatsApp group. All right, let's go to the last part. Uh, not you, just only for Pete. Uh, uh, she took advantage since you are, you are not allowed. So we are covering the week that I covered with you because she was absent. So we are going to the last part. And I do believe Chira, Bola, Zeka. We are looking at the impact of the impact of information, technology, to development. The impact of an impact of information technology in the development of global marketing. In the development of global marketing. Global marketing. Global marketing. So they are it, right. Uh, it helps the business. Well, you you see it, right? You may very much. Okay, so I'm saying, help, in, uh, help business organizations perform various tasks. Help business organizations perform various tasks. Perform various tasks. In, uh, they write number one, processing transactions. Processing transactions. Processing transactions. Two, in our custom, customer, in our customer, three, distribution, and four, supply. So, here I'll choose one. I will choose one. Take out choose one. Choose one. <laughs> we are saying uh, impact of information technology. And it impacts on the four items that are listed there. So let's choose one one and help our friends please understand those which four items. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. Mm-hmm. So, what else? 
So here, what is the real thing I Who is in a situation where we figure out to say, uh, Alice, I'm targeting this market, or I'm targeting this audience. So before you actually take your business there, you should be able to understand uh, various aspects of the people or of the audience you're trying to target. A great example, let's say somebody is coming uh, or is seeking uh, Malawi to be his or her next uh, market. The question would be, should they just bring in their business here? Which way? So, by chance, it may work, or it may not work. So sometimes, uh, whenever those people who are doing business, they do apply some sort of mathematics. Is it true, please? Yeah, it's true. You need to apply uh, some sort of mathematics. Uh, so, what we actually have to be doing is, you need to analyze the market before you actually take your test there. So that I mean, whatever aspect that you be looking to save, do you remember in the very first place I did say, whenever you of business opportunities, business opportunities should be coming from the customer, and not just from you. But whatever you be providing, it should be something that is solving a problem or is giving a solution to the problem that the target audience is having. We there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. So we need to understand and know what are the elements that we actually need to analyze or to investigate before we actually take the business there. So let's have this on that. Divide international and global information needs. International and global information needs. Just